toxoplasmosis. Toxoplasmosis is an infection caused by a single-celled parasite called Toxoplasma gondii. The parasites can be found inside the cells of humans and animals, especially cats and farm animals. The parasites can exist for a long time in the human bodies, even for a lifetime. Toxoplasmosis infects 25% to 50% of people in the world. The infection rate in China is 5% to 20%. How do people get toxoplasmosis? Toxoplasma gondii cannot be absorbed through intact skin. People can get infected during birth through mother-to-child transmission. Besides, they can get toxoplasmosis by accidentally swallowing the parasites through contacting with cat feces or by eating undercooked contaminated meat or shellfish and not washing hands thoroughly or using contaminated knives, utensils, cutting boards after handling the infected food. They can also be infected by drinking water contaminated with the parasite. Life cycle of Toxoplasma, Gondi I. Let's look at the disease in the definitive host, cat. Infection comes about by eating an infected intermediate host. Toxoplasma gondii multiplies in the cat, and the infectious material called oasis is shed with the feces. At the same time, the toxoplasma will spread over the body of the cat. The immune system of the cat will start to work, and the parasites will form cysts around it and hide inside the host. The cat is now healed and will not shed all cysts in its feces anymore. Meanwhile, an oasis needs about 1-4 to four days in the open to become infectious. If the intermediate host, which can be a mouse, a cow, a pig, or even a definitive cat, takes it, it will become infected. Humans can be infected by taking in oasis while doing gardening or by eating unwashed food or uncooked meat contaminated by toxoplasmotic cysts. Similar to the cat, the toxoplasma will scatter throughout the body. However, no infectious oasis will be shed. Pathogenic mechanism and immune response. After infection, the toxoplasma gondii enters the dendritic immune cells in the intestine. It then uses the dendritic cell as a Trojan horse to cross barriers, even the blood-brain barrier. In this way, the toxoplasma can enter almost all types of cells. After entering through the membrane, a protective bubble is formed around the pathogen. Meanwhile, the infection stimulates production of IL-12 and IFN gamma by the innate immune system. These two cytokines will cause a CD4 plus and CD8 plus T cell mediated immune response. The body's MHC molecules will present toxoplasma antigens, which can be recognized by the T cells. In addition, IL-12 produced during the infection can activate natural killer cells. Furthermore, tryptophan is an essential amino acid which toxoplasma gondii scavenges from host cells. Therefore, INF-gamma induces the activation of two enzymes, IDO and TDO which degrade the tryptophan. Immune pressure eventually leads the parasites to form cysts around themselves. Can my cat easily spread the infection to me? Cats rarely have symptoms when infected, so most people do not know if their cat has been infected. The cat will become a definitive host only if the cat eats a raw intermediate host, but the chance of this is quite slim for a domestic cat. The cat may also lick up oasis in its surrounding. However, because the cat is quite resistant against the toxoplasma oasis, the quantity must be large. The cat is a potential risk if it has not contacted plasmoplasma before because it may become infected at any time and start shedding oasis. After infected by the parasites, the cat will spread plasma in their feces for about 2 weeks. That is, a cat is risky for about 2 weeks in its entire life. Besides, an oasis needs about 1-4 to four days in the open to become infectious. So, if we empty the cat's litter box frequently, it is not easy to get the infection from the cat. Signs and symptoms, 
of toxoplasmosis. Most infected people have no symptoms because healthy immune system usually keeps the parasites from causing illness. Some may feel as if they have influenza with swollen lymph glands or muscle pains that last for over a month. The parasites can flow to all parts of the body via the bloodstream. It can damage the brain, the heart, and the eyes, leading to various other diseases. Most infected infants have no symptoms at birth, but they may develop symptoms later in life. A small percentage of infected newborns have serious eye or brain damage. Who is at risk for developing severe toxoplasmosis? Infants born to mothers who are newly infected with Toxoplasma gondii during or just before pregnancy have high risk. Also, elderly and pregnant women are at risk. Persons with severely weakened immune systems, such as those with AIDS, those taking chemotherapy, and those who have lately received an organ transplant, may also develop severe toxoplasmosis. Diagnosis of toxoplasmosis. Antibody serology is an effective way of identifying infection. In adults, toxoplasma. IgM, IgE, IgA become detectable within 7 to 15 days following infection. However, Toxoplasma IgG is usually detected after 15 days following infection. Therefore, if the result is positive, it can indicate whether the infection has occurred recently or not. Polymerase chain reaction testing of amniotic fluid has also been used in rapidly identifying fatal infection. Diagnosis result If the test is positive and the person has contacted Toxoplasma before, there is no risk at all. There is no danger if the test on the cat is positive as it does not spread the disease anymore unless it just happens that the cat is in its two weeks infectious period. If both the person and the cat are tested negative, there is a chance of getting infection later. However, there are other sources which are more hazardous than the cat. Treatment for toxoplasmosis Any medication is only useful for acute toxoplasmosis during the dispersion stage of the parasite. Common drugs prescribed are paramorphamine plus sulfadiacin or trisulfaparamidins. Pregnant women may also use spiromycin to prevent transmission to the fetus. For a healthy person who is not pregnant, there is usually no need for treatment since their immune system can work against it. If symptoms occur, they usually disappear within weeks to months. For the cat, medication is usually not needed as the cyst will resist the chemical medication. However, the treatment may stop the cat from excreting oil cyst therefore reducing the chance of infecting others. For people with weak immune system, drugs can be used to treat toxoplasmosis. For a pregnant woman, if the infection happens during pregnancy, she is vulnerable and the toxoplasma spreading in the body may go to the fetus, causing serious damage. The younger the fetus, the worse it can be. In this case, drugs can be used. If she has had the infection before, there is no need to worry. Prevention of toxoplasmosis Cook the food thoroughly. Do not eat raw meat or undercooked oyster, mussels, or clams. Wash vegetables thoroughly and peel fruits before eating. Wash hands, cutting boards, dishes, utensils with soupy water after contact with raw meat and seafood. Wear gloves when gardening and wash hands afterwards. Because toxoplasma oasis become infectious in 1-4 to four days after they are shed in the feces of a cat, we should clean the cat's litter box daily. Last but not least, teach children the importance of washing hands to prevent infection.